Pause for a moment and picture a time long past. Visualize the cosmos unrolling itself into a rich tapestry of celestial bodies and the earth emerging as a gleaming sapphire in the vast sea of ether. Imagine civilizations spawning in different parts of the planet, some by the great rivers, others nestled amidst towering mountains or sprawling plains. Imagine the earth witnessing the birth of the first civilization in the land between two rivers, the cradle of civilization, Sumer. Drift further into the realm of the ancient world, where the mystery of the unknown was attributed to gods. Picture the Sumerians, the Sumerians, a complex society marked by developments in writing, architecture, and culture. Theirs was a world teeming with deities where every element of nature was a divine manifestation, and the cosmos was a divine battlefield and playground alike. Among these diverse deities imagine the Igigi, the lesser gods, perceived as celestial beings associated with heaven. Contrary to the celestial hierarchy that put the Anunnaki, the higher gods, in control, the Igigi were the workers. They were the laborers responsible for mining gold on earth, the divine bridge between the celestial and terrestrial spheres. The Igigi, unlike their superior counterparts, were far from leisure and luxury. They toiled day and night, carrying out the commands of the Anunnaki, mining the glittering veins of gold embedded deep within the earth. Every swing of their pickaxe, every bead of sweat trickling down their celestial bodies was a testament to their labor. Their divine stature did not spare them the harshness of their duties. Their existence revolved around the ceaseless extraction of ceaseless extraction of gold, a task that was as physically demanding as it was relentless. Their existence was a constant cycle of toil and labor, blurring the line between divine and mortal suffering. But their struggle was not in vain. Amidst the grueling labor, a spark of rebellion was kindled. The Igigi grew weary of their endless toil, their divine spirits yearning for respite. They rebelled against the Anunnaki, refusing to bear the burden of labor any longer. This rebellion was a turning point a cosmic event that irrevocably history. In the wake of this rebellion, the humans were created, fashioned from clay and divine blood, designed to replace the Igigi in their labor. The humans, much like the Igigi, bore the burden of labor, tilling the earth, mining the gold, carrying forth the legacy of the celestial laborers. The story of the Igigi is a grand narrative of resistance and resilience, a struggle for better conditions. It echoes with the undertones of a struggle against oppression, mirroring the endless human strive for justice and equality. It is a testament to the innate desire for freedom and dignity, principles that have invariably characterized human history throughout the ages. The narrative of the Igigi serves as a reminder of our shared human history, a history of fight for better conditions. Their rebellion, their struggle, and their legacy is a testament to the endurance of the human spirit, to our collective yearning for justice, for dignity, and for a better life. The story of the Igigi, the celestial laborers, the forgotten gods of labor, is an enduring narrative that resonates with each one of us, reminding us of our intrinsic connection to the cosmos, to each other, and to the shared history of labor and struggle. So next time you look at a piece of gold, remember the Igigi, the forgotten gods of labor, and their legacy that lives on in us all.